like like I used to tell people, is a difficult. You can't do. You can't get into office alone by yourself. Mm. You need team. You need a team as much as you can. And those team are not going to are not going to do anything for you probably for free. <laughs> Right now, I feel like the season right now in Lagos, everyone's just preparing themselves for like the Christmas period. Everyone's mm. when people are downtime, when people are, are mm. being reserved, they're not going out too much. Yeah, I'm There's a couple that. of events here and there, but I feel like mm. this Christmas, a lot of people are prepping themselves. So I mm -hmm. feel yeah, it's going to be a good Christmas, I feel. Yeah, man. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm all right, thanks. I'm actually, I'm enjoying Lagos a bit. Yeah, good. <laughs> he's House laughing. Hunt. Okay, House I'm a, a bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A lot. You try to tone it down, right? <laughs> I mean, I said a bit. Like in some aspects, I'm like over the moon, happy. Yeah. Other aspects, they're trying to frustrate my life. <laughs> but I'll give you guys an update in a couple more episodes. How's so the house hunting going? What, what, what advice would you give on house hunting from your experience? Boy, <laughs> say no to Nigerian <laughs> agents. <laughs> Say yeah, no to Nigerian ah, agents. Like Them man and their catfish, yeah, pro their catfish property pictures. <laughs> <laughs> catfish property. Them man and their tax for IJGBs. <laughs> they, they'll yeah. charge you like two million naira tax just for having an accent. That's crazy. But don't, I'm yeah. literally going to do a property episode soon. Yeah, I'm going to bring an agent here and hold definitely. them to the fire. So we'll yeah, do that soon. But we've got yeah. a better guest in today, actually. A real one. This is this is one of the best kind of you know <laughs> solid those, people. This guy has Barry's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, bro, it's for yes. The so introduce yourself, bro. What's, what's good? I'm good. I'm I'm alright. I'm Demala, Titamala. Nice. nice. Yeah, politician, consultant, music um analyst, a music person as well. Been into different music business. Okay. From post production to producer production and to you know marketing and and um basic music business basically mm. so more like the more of a politician now into politics for have mm. you have you years. always wanted to be a politician yeah i've always really? been first of all i've always wanted to be a footballer because mm. i was very good at playing football mm -hmm. while i was growing up then second secondly i i developed the passion of into um, about politics basically so well yeah no that's sick man Politics, man. Nigeria is a very interesting place. I mean, the average Nigerian will look at politicians and think you guys are like mega wealthy and no. just enjoying and flexing the. <laughs> That's country. what people think. What does it really look like? The inside, like being in politics. You have no idea. What does not get to the public space? Mm. I can believe. I can tell you for a fact, politics is one of the most difficult career to go into to get into. Wow. People just see the glitz and glamour, yeah. social places and social position. Mm -hmm. um, you are social minister. You're so, they don't understand what it actually means to to put in the work. To get so, into so break it down. Office. Yeah, break it down for us. What does it actually mean? Like, how how do you how, how do you put in the work? Like, what what do you have to do? You're, you're trying to get. You're trying to basically please the people. That's just it. Mm. You're trying to get into people's minds, so and try to make them love you. How do you do that? Hmm. An average Nigerian that is a that wants of, money, a bag of mm. rice. You want you you, you want that's, to that's want enough. to make people love you so that maybe in the future you can represent them in whatever position you would want to aspire to, right? So how do you want to do that? You have tons of millions of people in your constituency, mm. probably the whole of Lagos, probably the whole of um, Surulere to Etiosa and all of that. How mm. do you do that? Yeah. So you can imagine when you're trying to go for a political post and you're trying to converse people, mobilize people to come to your to see the the vision they're trying to project for their constituency or for their welfare and all of that and they are they're very they um, basically there are so many people with diverse views of who you are or if you can do it or they don't care they just want money mm. so what do you do because politics is so broad you know mm. there's so many aspects to it so what what, what aspect do you do you so break it down there's the federal scale right the federal yeah. government stuff there's the state government as a local government like yeah. where do you fit in that value chain like, and how does it look like what do you do like who are you 
responsible for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, my I'm 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 at the um state level, mm. stroke constituency level, whereby you provide service, political service to to the people around your vicinity, your constituency. Um, you're working for people. For the does it does there's a constituency office in your in every vicinity in every um local government area whereby you work with um the leader in that particular constituency mm. um and you you know, basically what we try to do is um represent people okay at the federal cool. level mm. so because it's federal level we have to have people in the constituency office within the uh, within the constituency that would give feedbacks to the people mm. maybe be it empowerment be it um social responsibility be it um basic social amenities right mm. so that's what you're there for twins i want to start at the beginning how did you get in did you have to apply for a job did somebody bring you in mm. that's first of all i want to start at the inception oh that's <laughs> <laughs> that's like well well people get into policies in in different ways okay trust me but you have to be passionate about if you want to be if your intentions are good mm. you have to be passionate about working at the grassroots level because politics is politics is local right it's local if you're coming from the top you can't have direct um a direct um connection with the people of the grassroots because you're you're representing people at the grassroots level mm. whether you're in federal whether it's state whether you're in local government mm. right so if you're coming through someone someone is bringing you in Mm -hmm. based on whatever reason yeah that's that's the door you came through yeah somebody else is coming through or um, through another door which could be um i want to i want to represent my people right how do i want to represent my people the only way i could um just, some people would basically tell you the only way they could um come out if they don't know anybody is to try um is start to try to do things like um um charity Mm. Right. I know someone like that. I just tried to. Yeah, yeah. They went to their state and they just start giving out things in the state, and just hosting. Eventually, that led to rallies, and now they're going into House of Reps. Okay, that's as good, well. Yeah. But I feel like he's giving us some politician answers. I'm not yeah, yeah to like you need a. I'm gonna keep like, This is the raw. This is a move back. Man. Uh, we don't exactly. care about all that shit. We <laughs> so just right now, get real with this. I'm about five minutes in, and I'm not sure I can do much longer of the politician answers. So you need to <laughs> yeah, give us. Yeah, be free. Like, 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 I'm. I'm, I'm Trust me, this this is how we I can. So get. so this, this person said, okay, come here, let's sit here, let's have a conversation. What do you want to do for the constituency? And you said this is your plan. Do you do you kind of introduce anything? What was the way in like? Yeah. So you can do you can try to introduce um 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 what's it called um medical outreach, alleviate poverty. Mm. Give, but how do you alleviate give poverty? Empowerment like? to Social enterprise work can get you a door into politics. Is that what you're saying? And get you noticed in the community? Yeah, of course. If I'm if I'm doing if I'm trying to alleviate poverty for mm. for more than a thousand people in my constituency, of course you would like me to be in the office to so, represent you. Whereby I could get more funds. Mm. Okay. Push. Do you feel you feel like the way? Um, because right now there's a general overall the average Nigerian has a negative perception towards politics, right? And 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 politicians. Yeah. So like that perception what do you what can you tell people to say okay no like this is what we're really going through like guy give us a break we're really trying to figure things out where do you think that perception is coming from that perception is coming from because of people as feelers old dog journalists as feelers when it comes to development when it comes to um caring for us i used to tell people like mm. if you love your next but your next door neighbor mm -hmm. it won't be hard to deliver dividends of democracy dividends of um politics mm. um dividends of um um democracy to to your to your constituents or whatever you're representing right you must mm. love who you're representing mm. so if you don't love them why do you care mm. so that's if you are there if you don't love the people you're representing that's where you you do all sorts mm. that won't benefit the interest of the people you're representing right and do you have to be from where you're representing because i don't know is no. that, that necessary no okay, okay people that people in different um positions in states that are represented that are from different states mm. that in lagos I'm um, representing people. Okay. Right. So if you've lived in a particular place for over the years, mm -hmm. people have known you. you. You must be popular before you. you before you, you go into before that. Before you yeah. have a headway or a a, a a yeah, you have to have headway in in, in your area or constituency, mm. right? Because it is when you're popular, people can can nominate you. It is when you're doing good. Mm. It is when you're alleviating poverty, building um, building boroughs. Mm. Elevating people's stress. Mm. That's when people can nominate and say, no, this is the best we want. If mm. you can do this with your money, 
then I can, we can imagine if you have the support of the government, yeah. the government, mm. Mm. your phones and all of that. Mm. Mm. I understand that. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you just explain to me just some political terms? What's the difference between House of Reps and all these kind of things? Senate, government, I don't know anything. And what so are they responsible for? Just yeah, on baby break terms, because a lot of us don't really understand that, especially okay. those of us that came from abroad. Mm. So just help break down the differences a bit. Okay, so it's just like in the States, right? Okay. They have the House of Assembly, you have the State Out of Assembly, and you know, and you have the local government um, administration. So the House of Representatives is, is just basically um, people representing you from a particular geographical, geographical area in the States. Ah. Right? So is it's let me put it like this it's it's a person representing you from a, a a constituency a constituency can can comprise of local governments let me put it like mm, that mm, yeah. okay i get that yeah it can comprise of local government mm-hmm. to, to two local governments when it comes to senate mm-hmm. you can find two three local governments and there's a senator representing them three what i'm what am, what am i even saying what i'm three local women right i think they are they are about um three um senators from from Per state, yeah, representing the whole state. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine. So everybody has their own um, what's it called, uh, jurisdiction. So the money gets you. You, they, you have a budget every year that you can spend, right? They give you a budget or what? Yeah, on that, that, and you can spend 100%. on that com- constituency. Yeah, you're on, in, in that constituency. Okay. You might. I would like the project we like to carry out mm. in your constituency, mm. right? Mm. Whatever project, maybe you want to build schools, you want to build. Bottles, you mm. want to buy transformers, mm. things people would need. Yeah. Does, 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 does that range depending on the size of the constituency, the budget? What, what determines the budget? I, I think everybody's giving a, 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 a the same amount. The same of amount of money. money. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You're giving the same amount of money to 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 facilitate whatever project you mm. would like to carry out in your constituency. What happens when you don't finish the budget? That what happens? Where does the rest of the money go? <laughs> does that ever well, happen? <laughs> if you don't finish whatever money. It's given to you, which is rare because mm. there's there a lot of things you want to do. Why wouldn't you finish the money? Yeah, to get it, it's not possible. It doesn't make sense. There's, the, 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 your, I'm sure there's so many things in in your rural area that you want to fix, mm. right? So that's not even realistic. But if for some reason mm. you don't finish it, it's supposed to be um, it's supposed to still be in the in in your in the, in the record. So it's not going back to the uh, why do you, coming, okay. because there's another budget coming. The worst mm. that could happen is you won't um ask for mm. um um the same project, same project that yeah, you've yeah. that you've collected money from, yeah. right? Then you can use it to do mm. other projects. Like I said, this 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 is not um California or mm. whereby everybody everything is in place or mm-hmm. you get, that, there's a lot to be done to still. Done, yeah. Okay, so Mr. Honorable. Where do things start going wrong then? In general, we obviously have understood now, we, I've got a better understanding of how things are meant to be done. And thank you for that. But we also know things are not being done. Yesterday was Independence Day and I was somewhere, I was at an event and they asked, do we have, are we, should we be proud that we're celebrating 62 years? Like put your hand up, not a single mm-hmm. soul in the room put their hand up. So there's obviously a common consensus that we should be a bit further than where we are. And whilst I always preach about the private sector being what we should focus on, that we need the government to create an enabling environment for businesses and for individuals. So based on everything you said, what are you seeing apart from, like you say, the older people have failed us, where does it go wrong? All levels of government are failed. Okay. Probably if we want um, okay. my, my words or something, you can't say federal government have done well, the state have not done well. No, everybody has failed from, mm. from one from one um, administration to the other. So you think the whole administration like on and the way the, the political system is right now needs a lot of improvement? That way, it, we need a lot of good intentional leaders. Okay. Mm. Yeah. The structures are there. The, 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 the money is there. Mm. Mm. But how in do you, your, how do you in your, determine in your streets? In how your... do you determine someone that loves the place? How do you determine that? By what it does. Mm. If a lot of people don't even know um lawmakers collect money for mm. projects, they just think their basic responsibility is just their basic really their basic responsibility is just to make laws. Mm. But they don't know there is additional tons of um millions mm. that that's been given, that's been budgeted every year for your constituency, for things to be done for you. A lot mm. of people don't even know that. Mm. Why? Because we're still a developing country. Mm. That's what I was asking about. We, known, we, we don't yeah. even know our basic rights. We mm. don't even know what is going on up there. Mm. An average person selling selling um biscuits or or pepper on the street don't even know 
all of this. Mm. So it's only the few people that are privileged to be educated, to have or to 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 have yeah, some so, all sort of knowledge. Ibrahim, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Me that you said how I was house hunting, yeah. <laughs> I saw online that apparently it's illegal for landlords or, or agents to ask for two years rent. I'm still seeing, yeah, I'm yeah, still seeing them asking for two years rent. Is so true? even if there are a law, are people, are the everyday people even trying to abide, to abide by, by it? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it goes both ways. I hear you, but you know, it's, it's, it goes both ways it goes as both well. Ways, yeah, but that's a that's a basic um, responsibility of people that are supposed to abide by certain law, right? Mm. We're not talking about people that are supposed to abide. We are talking about politic mm. politics and politicians that mm. have been. Um, giving this so 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 particular amount of money yeah. to do this for your people. Mm. Yeah. Forget about if an average Nigerian who don't follow mm -hmm. the laws for a second. Forget about that. We know it's wrong. We know that's um that's part of our own um, shortcomings and all mm. of that. Mm -hmm. But if the politicians, mm. we politicians, if we do our work, mm. if we deliver dividends of democracy, mm. there will be less people. Um, mm striving to survive every day in the streets so, of Lagos. Honourable, please, yeah, I, I, I have a very good question. I, mm. I think it's worth to do, right? So we we know there's a kind of huge deficit when it comes to um, kind of access to different facilities that people need in this rural area, electricity, water, food, and all these things, right? When, they, when those people that are responsible for that constituency or those communities, right, when they get the, that budget that you talked about from the government, like, what is the, how is it so difficult? What is the, can you explain the difficulty with getting those people the things that they need? Do you think the budget is not enough? If that, you can say that, or do you feel like there's a lack of understanding? Really selfish people that have, that privilege to be in power, let me put it like that, because a lot of people go into politics through privileged means. Yes. Mm -hmm. They didn't even work for exactly. it. So we didn't even come through the grassroots. Exactly. So no one is actually qualified. Because, no, because at, all, yeah. at all. Because you know, I, a lot of, yeah. lot of psycho fans are in, in public offices. Mm. Yeah. They not should be. It's, it's got nothing to do. It's got nothing to do with, um, 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 representing people. Mm. It shouldn't it, be there. Yeah. Placeholders. There's, there's a barrier saying, to yeah. entry as well at certain roles, isn't it? So to contest, I think somebody threw a figure to me just yesterday about a mm. hundred million or something like that. How much do you have to pay? It does because of this last um, election that went, that went yeah. through. Um, um, yeah. The, let me even say this last election. Over the years, people have been political parties have been putting huge sum of money to. To, for you to contest, you have to, for you to have, um, for you to buy a ticket and contest mm -hmm. and contest basically. So it's it's too it's too um it's too exorbitant. The the the, the exactly, price is too the price much. Is a lot, yeah. When you when you do that, you're trying to bear the interest set, um, standard. Um, um, I'm, uh, what word am I supposed to use now? Is trying to strategically disenfranchise some people from contesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Let's assume mm -hmm. I have a good heart. I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a very famous person. I have good intentions for my people, mm. right? And I want to come and represent them. Mm -hmm. and, and and maybe I want to go into the house, right? And the the ticket for the house to 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 if I want to get into one of these political parties and I want to vie for a position in the house and the ticket is let's say for instance they say twenty million, mm -hmm. right? For me to have twenty million to put on the table to buy a ticket, yeah. I must. That means I have a lot. Like probably I have forty Somebody. million or fifty million somewhere yeah. or sixty million somewhere, right? Mm. So do I have enough for my own personal mm. funds to bring a twenty million from to to buy mm. to buy buying to seats yeah. to, buy, to buy a ticket buy and fighting for a seat? Do you get? Mm. So it's too it's too it's high, yeah. It's high. Do you think that 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 um, ticket price should go down? Do you think it should be go down? Absolutely, because mm -hmm. if you. If you tell me a particular amount is set to be the price of a particular um, candidate's um, ticket, mm. right? That means it's only the rich people that, that, will can, be, afford it. that can afford it, right? Mm. Yeah. And so if there are so many bad leaders, bad rich people mm. that can afford it, that means it is one of those bad rich people that will be able to get into that seat. Get into seat yeah. So if, you get, if a bad person, don't, I don't give a shit about mm. the people in ways in way he or she is trying to represent. So how is he going to deliver mm. projects? How is he going to do? He doesn't care. He, he believes it's, a, it's, it's an investment. Mm. So he should recoup, right? So you're paying so much money. First thing you're going to do when you get into office is to get try to get your money back, right? Mm. From whatever means. Maybe the money they've been giving to you to, get to do projects in your, mm. in your uh, constituency and all of that. So you then you start to recoup. Mm. Then you start to tell people. Um, um, you start to give back to the people. 
the person that gave you the pay, that paved the way for you to be able to even get a ticket yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of process mm. it's not about buying so it's not just the money it's like people oh, putting words for you exactly here and there. Yeah. people people would have to work for you that like 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 i used to tell people is it difficult you can't do you can't get into office alone by yourself mm. you need team you need a team as much as you can and those team are not going to are not going to do anything for you probably for free it's only mm. your friend amongst the team will tell you you're my friend from from way back i'm mm. going to support you i don't want anything but if, if, if you're going to line up a team you have to you have to pay them right mm. for the for the work they're going to do or you have to promise them on positions if you get into 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 office this is what is so, so you have to put your best too because there's mm. something in it for you too yeah. right that's so, interesting yeah, that's my issue with politics. I always say it's I scratch my back, you scratch yours. Mm, so oh, like exactly. you say, by the time you get to where you're going, there's a load of people that you need to appease. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when it gets a bit complicated. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I agree with that. What, well, sorry, what I wanted to ask you though is what are your views on federalism? Because you know right now uh, that's been something that's been called for in terms of how to improve the political system. So as somebody that's within that system, I wanted to know, do you think that's something that could help Nigeria? or Federalism will help yeah all of us but let us uh, let us face the facts in every policy in every arrange in every arrangement there are people that will suffer for it mm, right? true facts yeah so 100%. if if a particular people in a certain area in the country wouldn't benefit from federalism mm. and they have the stakeholders in that in that say in that in that uh, meeting or wherever or wherever people are going to come to a round table to talk about federalism. If they, if they, if they, if a good number of them are, are, are stakeholders, it won't, they won't agree. Mm. People have to sit down on the table to and agree that, okay, let's thing. go back to um, what we used to be, regional regional governance. Let's go back to how it used to be federal, federal um, way of um, um, everybody produce from your state and, and, and give to the, to the center. A lot of people will be just, they will be, will not have the kind of money they used to have. People that don't produce, there's so many states that can't produce what Lagos will produce, right? Mm. So, how would those states benefit? How would it benefit them? Now we are, we are all of us are going to the central to take every month, right? We go to we go to the federal government to take a monthly allocation to do whatever we want to do in our state. People that some people are generating very low, and they still take a good amount of money if the situation is. The way it is like this, if you if you still stick to the status quo, they give you a good amount of money because everybody's been shared. Among, I think basically because of um basically because because of what we how we we contribute to the to the to the um federal government um porous mm. right. So if for instance this is Amfara, right? I don't think the IGR is up to you know a billion or two billion explain what does IGR mean because some people don't internal generated revenue so the revenue generated by that state by that state okay right so even if your IGR cannot it's not up to one billion mm. right and for, Lig for Lagos now we are we are at uh, 40 billion right so how did that particular person that particular state rather wants to take care of its people take care of its needs pay salaries teachers whatever governors you know sort themselves out and still give to the center hmm so you can see that those states will not be, they will not want to agree to mm -hmm. anybody, any state. politician or the stakeholders from those states would not want federalism mm -hmm. because, because in as much as there are so many, um, 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 things, so many natural God given, um, um, what's, what would I call it? Resources. Resources mm -hmm. in every state that people that we are lazy to, to, to generate, to find those resources, put in the work, then make it, make it, um, make it make money for us. Mm. We just want to collect from the proceeds of crude oil, whatever money, yeah. then collect, spend, whatever. We are too lazy, you know? So, so true philosophy is not, not going to basically mm. favor everybody. It's a favor some people. Mm. But not oil producing not. states, of course it favors. Mm. Commercial states, like it was, it favors because we, we can't even stand on our own. We don't, we need any money. Mm. We can feed ourselves. We can do stuff ourselves. But there's some states that don't have those uh, things we have. Mm. Well, the, 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 the budget allocation to these states, right, does it depending on the economic activity that those states are producing as well? So, yeah, so, yes. So, but is, it fairly, does not, does not, is it fairly distributed? Is it fairly distributed across? Yeah, it's fairly distributed. You get something tangible. Mm. Something tangible, no doubt. But you, you can't compare 
a river state that is producing oil. That's mm. where the, you know part of the state oil producing state. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't compare what river state you collect mm. with what um, maybe KB you collect or Adamawa. Mm. Mm. Right? Interesting, actually. Yeah, and so, and because mm. there's, there's there's conversations of people like tax, right? There's a conversation of people who say, okay, look, like each state right now, there's some people are doing state level tax and federal tax, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but some people are saying, look, we don't want to even do federal tax anymore. We want to just do state level tax. What do you think about that? They don't that? want what? They don't do federal level tax. They don't do state level tax. Okay. So the, all the tax should be collected in the state and used to, to improve the infrastructure okay. activities in the state. Okay. What are your thoughts around it? Do you think it's something that's possible? Do you think it's like good idea or do you think there needs to be a, a change? The tax should be, tax should be, it should be a revenue start saddled with the responsibility of the state government mm. because mm. They collect this, they collect, it is in that state, those things are situated, mm. right? So I think um, we can, we can fought the federal government with, on, on that issue and won, right? I collect by tax and now I'm, I'm supposed to collect and, and you know, do things in the state, do yeah. in the state. not so that you have the, because you are the federal government, you have the, you know, you have the power to mm. just come to my state and collect the stuff. Mm. This is the, the revenue that is, you know, the tax that is meant to do, um, things for my state, state yeah, right done, yeah. so uh, it's it's i believe states should be um in control of their of the so what, what the, is the revenue side of things because for, sorry for, yeah. because federal governments have they've got a lot of um mdas if they know of um, agencies mm. that generate money right it's just that those people in charge of um saddled with the responsibility of um generating money from from those agencies mm. And not remitting the right amount of money. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. So it's killing the government process, the federal government process. So, so a, sorry, if a, 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 the head of a particular agency, for, for instance, director general, is supposed to remit so so amount of money, maybe for instance, ten billion, mm. and he's remitting one billion or five hundred million. Where are the remaining? And he's supposed to be remitting ten billion from mm. all indications. Mm. So now this is now comes an issue of transparency. What what? Like what is the what is the structure that is meant to enforce transparency in kind of the flows of that money? Yeah, like like I will always tell people like there should be good institutions. If there are strong institutions, whereby it's difficult for people to 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 uh, to steal money. Mm. So no, but who, what's the instrument current instrument that orders the flow of the money? Is there any institution at the moment in Nigeria that orders the flow of the money? That holds them accountable but, for dispersing yeah. the amount they're meant to disperse. That's a, that has always been there. But you what can, institutions is that? What is it? What is it called? When I mean strong institutions, the process in which from the director general to the deputy to the secretary of that institution, of that agency, mm. the way money flows, the way they, they, they remit money or the, when they generate and um, use whatever they need to use for their own personal um, run day-to-day -day running of the agency, mm. then remit the rest. The process mm. is the system. Okay. Like now, we use a single system, TSA, mm. in, in everybody, every agency is supposed to remit money to a particular single account. Mm. Everybody. I think Bride did that when he came into power. Okay. So it's not more everybody has their own accounts. No, no, that would give that will give birth to easy access loopholes mm. in the system Loophole, for people yeah. to loot money, yeah. right? So if all of us agents, from FAN to Nigerian Port Authority to FIRS, everybody remits to one account. Mm. So me, I can't wake up as the boss of MPA to go and remove money from that account. I don't have the authority. I can't. It's not possible. But if I remit money to my own account, right, and expect federal government to come and take it from me or I send it mm. to federal government directly. There will be loopholes I can embezzle. Mm. I can, as, the, as, the, as the director general of my agency, I can say, I can just go to the account and remove money. Mm. Right? And say I've used it for so-so thing. They will know. Yeah. You get, which is a lie. I just, I'm just trying to find an excuse for that particular money mm. I've used. Mm. In some situations, they didn't even find an excuse. They just tell you, Snake has swallowed it. <laughs> right? But if you put money inside in, in, into a TSE mm. account, a single treasury, um, um, accounts mm. for, for um, um, that is um, federal governments have, uh, have put in place in the priority um, association enter. You can't go there and remove money. Yeah, what's the enter? Nothing is coming out. Mm. It has become the property, uh, the money of um, um, presidency, mm. right? So it is more like you're regenerating money 
put it into the government post, the federal government post. So you can't go out. But if you put it in your own personal post, which is supposed to be the for the federal government, mm. or I don't know how the process at the federal level on how they, they used to um, remit money to the federal government. I think there's there were a lot of loopholes. That's mm. why the 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 idea, the idea of a single account came into place. So you can still go back there and remove money because you are the boss of the and is of the agency and everybody reports to you. Mm. I have I have just one question quickly, right? So you look at a state government because I look at everything as a business. You understand? That's how we're I governance. Look, yeah, I look at everything as a business. The way I can understand things. So a state, right? No, the, sorry, it's not. It's not. It's not supposed to be a business. Yeah, it's not supposed to be a business. But right? I look at it as a business. Go- governance is can people people in power in public offices can use money generated to make money. Exactly. You know, that, that's yeah, business. Yeah, that's but business, because yeah. they're making money for all of us, mm. right? And that leads me to my question: How does how does the state? So what are the different revenue sources that the state gets? money coming in where so you've got the federal government money coming in you've got the tax tax for the state what other areas does the state get money coming in okay so um there is nrt there is there is um firs yeah, so, L-I-R-S. yeah, so that's the tax. FRS yeah, is it's, tax. It's a, money, L-I-R-S it's a, it's a tax. revenue generating. Yeah. <laughs> so that's tax. So that's it's called tax. Yeah. As long as it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. inland revenue. That's tax. And then what yeah. other areas? Well, so you got that tax side of thing. What other areas? So the NRE, what was that called? What do you say? The NRE, or you said just now, what was that? Is that a, is that a tax as well? Or is that no tax? NI. The first one that you mentioned. NURTW. NURTW. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, National Road Transport Users. Uh, so tolls uh, and things. So toll gates and all this stuff. Is no. That, no, transport, public, a public, public transport. transport. Okay, great. So yeah. national union you know, so public transport, transport tax. The road guys, mm. right? All the guys in the, the, the money goes to the state. Mm. The they part of each of the businesses of, of paying tax that goes to the state. Yeah. Federal government gives the state money as well. Yeah. Right. What are that areas? What are revenue sources? Every every landowner, every 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 um house owner pays. House owner pays their own land land use. Land duty. Land um just land duty or what's no called? land use land, land use, use um what's it called land use there's it's called land use um revenue mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. tax mm-hmm. something you okay, pay for a radio license yeah right that's a fair amount a no but, but that ten you have a car you pay for your plate number you pay for insurance mm-hmm. you pay for vehicle license you renew it every mm-hmm. year that's that's a revenue generating comp yeah, mm-hmm. right you have um um people with um businesses so there's so many different sources there's so many so many mm, where okay. the government um, there's a new one that you've there's anyone land um um parking permit you have to get parking permit mm. now f- for you to park but who, reg- who, who, who regulate these sources though because right now i can go into government and say i want to do something new to for, for the government to get money and i say oh this might be a new area coming in but uh, i'll just say ah, guys please divert that money to my account how does how does we how do how does we like who regulates this inflow of money to the states and ensuring that it's spent in the state? Like, how does that work? The state governments will find a way to. If 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 the state government, if they are visionary leaders, or if the governor is, is a visionary person, <laughs> he can bring about something innovative mm. that will bring money to the states, right? So, so anybody can come in and just suggest something that will bring money to it, and then it will just go go ahead. No, anybody cannot come in. If it, yeah, you have it, it, what whatever idea you have, you have to work in government or mm. be closer to government or be in power. Mm. Maybe a commissioner, or a special advisor, or something, right? You have to, you have to be, um, you know, in power, in power yes, before you that. can suggest mm. because there are many people. The idea is lying around. Mm. It's it's up to the governor, the person in charge, to tap into. the or be willing mm, to tap into. into the ideas of many people. No, right? very, so if, if you don't yeah. have a governor, governor that that that's that is open to to people giving him new ideas, it'd be difficult mm. because he feels like okay, there's a blueprint on on, on ground where I need to follow based on who and who has put me there and all of that, and I have to follow whatever they want and all of that. Okay. So, or if he's a docile governor mm. and doesn't care, he just wants to be in government and just you know do whatever he feels like. Mm. So basically, it's still part of the argument I used to tell people. If you if you really want to work, if mm. it's, it's a whole lot of stressful job mm. because you have to project ahead, you have to implement, you have to you have to project ahead and implement. Yeah. Before you implement, you have to plan. Mm. What are the ideas? What are the things that can move the state from from this um, point A to point B? We are way back many years I, I, behind um 
developed countries. Mm. So how can we move forward? How can mm. we move forward? You know, so That's interesting. So you came in with like a badge on your on your yeah, yeah, yeah. clothing. Yeah. So I wanted to ask about that. Oh, well, that's yeah. my that's one of my leaders. Okay. So he's been contesting for the federal House of representatives. Nice. House of representatives, basically. So. Yeah. So in the UK, yeah, there's this literally... campaign has started. So. Yeah. And what's his name? Honorable um, Ganyu Johnson. And the party representing is... APC, representing um, Ishodi Solo, federal right. constituency. Okay. Nice. So so in the UK, there's different parties, and we kind of understand their basic philosophies, mm. right? So there's a lot of some of them are on the liberal side of things, some are on the conservative side of things. But in Nigeria, I, I still get to understand how it stands, right? So there's like, I know there's the APC, there's the PDP, there's the Labour Party, from my understanding, there's other ones as well. But those are the ones that I see all the that time, are, right? You know, famous. Exactly, they're famous. So like, do they have like basic philosophies that they go by? Are they, which one is liberal? Which one is conservative? Like, how does it work? Yeah, yeah, you're trying to, you're trying to, you, uh, you know, um, bring about the, the old conversative, conversative liberal aspect from the states, right? It might be different here. Yeah, educate me because we're new. We need to understand yeah, a, little, a little bit different, more. Different countries with different ideas, mm. like political ideas, right? In the states, it's different. Yeah. You have convers and conservatives. You have liberal. You have, you know, Democrats. Democrats yeah. You have Republicans. In Africa, mm -hmm. Nigeria to be precise, mm -hmm. it's different. In APC, you still call them, you call, we call ourselves the progressives, right? So in other party, they call themselves power to the people, you know, everybody has their own motto, everybody has their own, what they stand for, mm. right? So it, it can be, it can be the same with developed countries, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so everybody have their own ideals, their party um, visions and mm. their, what they stand for basically. Yeah. But does it change every every kind of era or does it always stay the same? It, it, it changes based on political parties. Mm -hmm. If, if for instance, APC metamorphosize into something, into another name, mm. there will be something to to mm -hmm. go along. Yeah. That name. There'll be an identity, basically. It'll mm -hmm. be like that. So yeah, naturally, as you say, Africa, we're not as bipartisan as, as the West in our approach to politics. But actually, what I did want to ask is, there's a, some, some of us believe, when it comes to African politics, that Africans need more of a dictator that Western democracy as we have it today doesn't actually work for us. And if we look at countries that have made progress within Africa, maybe such as the Rwanda and some other countries, they tend to have, you know, one leader, maybe has an iron hand in, in some aspects, also has a loving aspect to them. And that's what moves our countries forward. I just wanted to know what you think about that school of thought. Or you think this democracy that we have is what is best for us to develop our countries? There's, first of all, there's no substitute to democracy. We are we are only getting around like I said, like I like I, I always tell people mm -hmm. because of bad leaders. There's no substitute. They'll, no matter how bad people can loot money in the democratic system of governance, mm -hmm. it can never can never be as bad as somebody that's in charge of telling you what to do, like the North Korean um, um, okay. country, or like North Korean um, president. Mm. Right. So if you are if you are saying that we need a dictator, mm. how? It's mm. like it's like everybody's lives and daily lives, lives and future is in the hands of one person because mm. it, if it dictates to you what you're going to eat tomorrow mm. or the road you're supposed to pass or what you're going to do, how would you feel? Mm. It dictates to you that there's no there's no there's no money being, that's going to be sent to to your your state today. That's it, right? Mm. Maybe mm. because he woke up. You know, wrong side of the bed to that. Say, Lagos State, you people, you people are mismanaging the money I'm sending. I'm not sending money to you. Mm -hmm. Again, what would you do? Mm. But because we're in a democratic system of governance, even if we, the person, the governor is mismanaging the money sent to him, right? Mm. Or he, he went to collect from the federal government. Next month, the federal government cannot tell him that he can't, he won't give him money. Yeah. No, it's my right. It's my right. Whether I mismanage none of your business, it's left, it's left for the um um what's it called efc or icpc to look into that mm -hmm. right if you go outside the rule books there are agencies that will take care of that are supposed to look into and and be a search dog mm -hmm. or, a, or beam a search light into whatever you're doing but it is not in the place of of somebody that's giving money which is fair government that mm -hmm. is even generating money you mm -hmm. know to now tell you 
This is no. how you're going to play. Yeah, there's no, much. there's no radio TV stations today. TV stations are, 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 are televising what they're not supposed to televise. Mm. They are re revealing some government secrets. Yeah. Go and ban them or go and lock these. It used to be, you know, that's what dictators do. It's what they want. Mm. They will tell you because it doesn't favor them. Or maybe they're doing something bad in governance and, and there's a journalist trying to reveal it to the public. Mm. But this particular radio station or TV station that is trying to, you know, hear whatever they are doing. They have too yeah. much power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So power, yeah. it won't be good for Okay. There's another the, aspect the, um, society. as well. There's another aspect to African politics that I feel complicates it sometimes. And if we look at Lagos or Nigeria in particular, it's the aspect of having kings. So I really wanted to know, how does having kings in certain areas, for example, if we just take Lagos Island, I know we have one in Elogoshi, for example, or even Ikata and all these kind of areas. How does that complicate politics? Or do they operate separately to the state government and the federal government they they they, they don't use they don't have powers they used to have anymore because of okay. you know civilization because of uh, because of the go and uh, the way democratic system of government the okay. british um yeah since even before the colonial um the british came to colonize us yeah so the others used to be the government the the people in charge of everybody yeah exactly the, yeah the system right mm -hmm. before another system of government came into play yeah so Right now, the Obas don't have much powers they used to have anymore, but they have influence hmm. in politics, right? Because influence of the people or the, the leaders, which one? They have the influence, the, the, the throne they, they, they are sitting on, hmm. the, inf the, the influence the, that comes with the throne. They have, you they, can rub off on any politician. That's why you see when it's um, election time, people go to the to the kings yeah to have a conversation to, to, to have a conversation to yeah. help them converse for them a little bit one thing yeah like you're you're a handsome guy <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh here we go here we go you're a handsome guy <laughs> like, and, and, and like, i want to know what what the perks of being an handsome oh, honorable man. looks like because in this lagos it must be finishing your life like, no, <laughs> and, no, and no, a politician no. as well <laughs> right <laughs> so please explain how what is the perks of, of being an honorable you know i know half the answer i know the, i know some of the answers <laughs> hey drag him out you don't have to drag him out no i'll let him answer first before i hurt him up <laughs> um if if uh, for somebody that's good looking as in politics that's it's 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 a good way to start because first of all <laughs> i yeah, love the yeah, honesty yeah. <laughs> because you're you're trying to talk to people self and you're already good looking and like okay <laughs> you're not looking scruffy you're not looking you know but they they, they like what they see first oh, of all man. there are people that that, that will that, that have your votes based on the fact that ah, there are social media see people on social media that is because it's fine he has my votes mm. they don't even know if he's, if he's a bad person mm. they don't know if he's a terrible the person effect. they it's don't even know you would, you, yeah. would, you would embezzle all their money mm. yeah 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 but it's just it's just it's not really it's not <laughs> i really. want to know the perks <laughs> <laughs> the guy is not the answer what is the perks of being a fine honorable <laughs> like what's going not, on these streets what's happening not, he's and not. he's in music as well yeah, not, i didn't ah, touch yeah. on that today because no, I, yeah, I met him through stuff. the music industry i'm not even through politics <laughs> yeah, well, we'll talk on that. That. another it's day not, we'll talk about, about about fine honorable <laughs> people people vote for you no, no, no what yeah, is the street but saying people, people, but people don't literally people don't care if you're fine or not really but yeah. they care if you're eventually honorable. they won't care the question is people that average and upward that will care the question is uh, the women yeah, yeah. <laughs> do they care <laughs> do they care if you're honorable or not do they care if, if you're honorable or not if, if you're in politics or not that does it help with this uh, i'm in politics in... oh i wouldn't know you know you know you know you, you don't you know you don't know hmm. the arts of these women hmm. yeah, right? like, yeah, some people tell them yeah. ah i'm into so 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 thin i'm into politics and all that some people frown like ah you people are destroying oh some people that are even against it yeah some people, some people oh, it would turn me off people. definitely really yeah. i don't want to be with a politician yeah, because they yeah. don't understand some people are basically some people don't understand that it it's is a work it is real-time work mm, real -time and work. some people because of we are in africa and the way politicians have let us down Mm, exactly that's why i wouldn't trust it it's lack of trust really yeah, if, yeah. If, if, yeah. If, politics is, is a very is a honorable profession because you're, you're standing up for people yeah, mm. up. you're living your work mm. you're living your personal thing you're, you're coming out from that you're trying to represent people mm. that means you're, you're putting yourself out there mm. to, for millions of people on behalf of, of people. people so it's a good thing right i agree with you 
Uh, how, in, in the uh, states, in UK, in all of those, are really respected people. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So basically, there's two, two. We've got two more segments left quickly on the podcast. So we started this new segment called Trivia to find out how well do you know your industry. How, so how, how well, well do you, do you know, know your industry? How well? Yes. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got five, uh, only five, and we have a leaderboard, so you'll be the first one on it. So I have five questions for you. Let's see what you score. So who was Nigeria's first ever president? This came up last um, few days, like we're discussing it. Okay. Some would say um, Tafa, uh, uh, Tafa Baliwa. Okay. Some would say Inam Diazikiwi. Okay. Some will say that Inam Yaziki was ceremonial. But no, a president is a president, mm-hmm. whether you're ceremonial or not. So mm-hmm. I'll go with Inam Yaziki. Correct. How many lawmakers are there in the House of Assembly? House of Assembly. Mm-hmm. States. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> House of Assembly is only one. Okay. one yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm. and I know, I know, I actually know this, but I know, <laughs> my mind. Right? Three, <laughs> 360. Okay. When did Nigeria become independent? In what year? Uh, uh, Abba. Abba. <laughs> Who are the current affairs now? You should get this one. Well done. Who was the richest president? You know, I always focus on the money. Who was the richest <laughs> president in Nigeria? They say. It's a bit subjective, but who was the richest ever president? What do you Nigeria? mean rich? Well, how do you... The wealthiest. They said that in terms of his the amount of net worth that he had. Richest president. Yeah, mm. you can just throw enough. Throw someone out there, a name out there. Because most of the president is when you military head of states. Are, you, are they included? Or... They were just presidents of Nigeria. I mean, the richest we... president of Nigeria. No, you have to president when democratically elected president. Okay, just include both. Include the Leaders. military coup guys and include the presidents. Who do you yeah. think was had the most money? They said head that of, had the, yeah. head, of, head of states basically. That had the most money. Yeah. Before he got into power. Oh. After. It. No, no, you have to. <laughs> while he was in power. While, while he was in power. power yeah. yeah, the richest ever president. You can see Abacha. Okay. Well, uh, they said Babangida. Oh, Babangida. Yeah, no, exactly. You can't say Babangida because okay. uh, you, 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 between, uh, <laughs> I saw we, the we money that's in Babangida. Abacha's money, every, they keep finding yeah, it. So yes. Can't say Babangida. <laughs> yes. And Babangida is still alive. So yes. we, we, don't, we don't know his, okay. his worth through and through. So I'll go with Abacha. Okay. Nobody can. Okay. Tell me that. <laughs> so I'll not say Babangida, but no. <laughs> with what we've seen, Abacha looted. It's nah. still coming. The money is still coming. Yeah, it's still coming. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, last one. In what year was Nigeria formed? Nigeria formed. Mm. The Nigeria that we know today, what yeah. year was it actually formed? Is, is, is it is it the amalgamation of the amalgamation north and west? Yes, is exactly. The north and west. Excellent. Yeah, okay. you well done. Now you don't. That was really good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Do well. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, Doctor always asks this question to round up every podcast. He goes, "If you were the president of Nigeria, and it's most applicable to you, of any other guest, what would you do? There's a couple of things. If you were ever to be the president of Nigeria, what would you do? What would I do? Mm-hmm. What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's that's a tricky one. What would I do? President, like, I'll make sure I would directly make sure food is on the table of every Nigerian. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Food. I wouldn't delegate it. You know, when you delegate it to people, mm. Mm. Michael, you know, I will sit to it myself directly mm. and make sure I put power in every home. Amazing. Well done. Power and yeah. food. Mm. If, food and, if food is out of. <laughs> Pam Africa. Yeah. Shout out to Pam Africa. If food yeah. is out of everyone's mm-hmm. problem mm-hmm. i think 50 percent is solved yeah Maslow hierarchy literally. amazing the rose the yeah. water is secondary the food if everybody can eat without having to stress to mm. eat 50 mm. percent of the problems so, we so at least we should have some food banks we should have like all those Spot things that... food banks directly mm. from, and, well, i would have a large hectare of land that's gonna say more agriculture people investment. there agriculture that's what i think is the solution whatever is coming there will be really heavily subsidized exactly because mm. we have enough resources go to every state mm. and to make sure it gets to every every yes. nook and cranny i'll i'll make sure i i i employ people that are of good um of good um hearts yes mm. so that it won't be a system whereby I'm delegating things to people and mm. they are siphoning it mm-hmm. and yeah, still getting yeah. to the Absolutely. classroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the most that's yeah. the problem we are facing in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. Most of the things we, we abuse barrier every day. I'm not saying it's not good, but there are people that he has delegated to do things to ease 
our problems mm -hmm. and yeah take it their own so it's mm -hmm. not getting to mm -hmm. people down mm -hmm. so they are really cutting all the money from her mm. so yeah. before it gets down we can't even yeah nice man this like is that. a good one okay <laughs> mr honorable thank <laughs> you for coming honorable. on so we say shout out to, i'm not I, Lee, I don't endorse any political party okay yeah no, shout out to everybody thank you for, for having an apc the, man, the best in the man win, yeah 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 and well. say no to nigerian men thank you <laughs> <laughs> why, why why you saying that nigerian men, are, nigerian men are really fantastic people okay we are we just we just we just um we have our own way of doing things we just have our own shortcomings as well but you know, shortcomings the ladies <laughs> long comments there's a lot of long comments <laughs> long comments <laughs> the ladies are not even helping matters with us okay so all right then. We, we, all, we, have to, we all have to manage each other anyway yeah, yeah that's true, true. Oh, we have to manage true. each other all right thank you you're welcome